Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. Let's see. y'all but i'm gonna <laughs> i think that message for me and y'all <laughs> y'all heard that deep sigh I just took so some of y'all just need to take a deep breath just take a deep breath okay rest and reconsider okay Seek. 999 could be significant. <clears throat> Choose your battles. Okay. And moving on. Okay. Okay. So, with the just breathe and rest can... Uh, just breathe... Rest and reconsider and seek. I feel like this is telling me that some of you guys may be dealing with some anxiety when it comes to a certain situation. Um, I feel like this is saying to take a minute, get back focused, and really nail down what it is you want. I don't know why a job keeps popping up in my head, but I feel like some of you guys want to change jobs and there are things that are happening on your current job that you don't like and so you feel like you're not getting this new job fast enough or something like that i feel like you're moving on from and i don't know why i'm picking up on job situation but i feel like you're moving on from something specifically a job um with choose your battles here that means not fighting against every single thing that happens but look at it more on the whole scale so for example, you could be affirming that you love your new job, right? I love my new job. It's perfect for me. There's your affirmation. I love my new job. It's perfect for me. But there are things that are popping up on the old job that is making you anxious. It is about choosing your battles and only focusing on what it is that you want, okay? Um, and staying in that story that, Technically, you're already on this new job and it's going perfectly, okay? So actually, you're on the new job already. You shouldn't even be given any, given any um, insight or given any attention because anything that you put attention on, it grows. So if you put more attention on the new job that you already have, because that's what we're affirming, that you love your new job and it's perfect for you. Um, if you're putting your attentions there, then this other stuff that's happening in the in the 3D is, you know, not to be focused on, okay? I do see you walking away from something here. I'm moving on from something. Let's see. I think I'll, I think that's a reverse. What's this moving on? The real test is when you're saying that, um, yeah, you're moving on from something toxic, something toxic here. Okay. I feel like whatever it is, it's done. Um, and you know, it's done. You're, you're, you are sure that it's done. You've made the decision that it's done. Ten of swords, Gemini energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, chariot card, cancer energy. So whatever this is, you've deemed it as toxic. And something that you um moving on from. What's this devil? Ten of Swords Cherry Energy. What is this that I'm moving on from? Mm. Some kind of opportunity for some of y'all. It could be a relationship. 
with this four of wands here, Aries energy, ace of cups in reverse, some kind of opportunity, could be a love relationship, something that you've invested into, okay? Something that you've made an investment in with the seven of pentacles, Taurus energy, four of wands, Aries energy. What's this ace of cups in reverse? What's this ace of cups in reverse? Four of wands. I feel like whatever this whatever this is, is something that, that you're not seeing a return on your investment. Okay? Yeah. You're ready to release whatever burden this is. Sagittarius energy. Yeah. You're closing out a cycle here. Hmm. It's a lot of arguing and fighting going on in this. In this. That, they go that four of wands again. It's Aries energy. King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who maybe verbally. God, with that King of Swords and that Devil together. That's somebody who's verbally abusive. Okay. This is somebody who you're having verbal altercations with. You need to choose your battles. So if this is. If, if this moving on is you leaving a toxic situation. A toxic relationship. Once again, removing your um, attention from this person um, will remove the person, okay? Clarify, choose your battles. Yeah, this is unhappy. This is some kind of unhappy home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ten of Swords again in the reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So I feel like the communication. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. This is somebody. This may be somebody who says things, says <clears throat> mean, hurtful things, or does mean hurt, hurtful things to try and hurt you. Okay. And it's saying that you have to choose your battles. So not reacting to every single thing. Okay. Not reacting to every single thing. Hmm. What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? My goodness. <clears throat> Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Leo energy here. This may be happening. Yeah. Wow. I saw, I, wow, yeah, moving on, okay, so yeah, <clears throat> this is definitely a situation of you, of someone here moving on from a toxic relationship, there was most likely a third, well, not most likely, if you watch me, you know that three of swords means <clears throat> that there was a third party involved, Libra energy, we got the eight of cups here, so moving on again, okay, I feel like it's happening publicly, or that people are seeing this, or know what's going on, Six of Wands, Leo energy, and that's causing anxiety also. What's this Nine of Wands, Three of Swords? Six of Wands. They may be publicly with this other person. Yeah, there's some confusion here. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety and confusion here. And to me, that temperance is just another form of just breathe rest and reconsider and seek this is about calming your emotions so getting a hold of yourself emotionally sagittarius energy okay seven of cups scorpio energy i feel like there's a lot of confusion here mm. i could actually and that's so weird that i could actually i'm picking up on the anxiety because when i sat out that was the first thing i did was take a big deep breath because i just felt the need to just say Phew. okay so you guys need to do the same if this is for you Give me a few more messages. And an uh, affirmation I like is only good things happen to me. Only good things happen to me. Give me a few more messages. Yeah. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Libra here. I feel like you may think that... Wow. Okay, sun card and temperance again. Like I said, and the magician right behind that. So like I said, affirmations, magician is transmuting the energy. Affirmations can calm you. 
and affirmations can bring a sense of peace. Like I said, one of my favorite affirmations is only good things happen to me. Only good things happen to me. I always get what I want. So if there's justice, I feel like justice is something that you want. And I feel like justice is something that you're going to get. Okay. With that sun card here. Clarify this justice and sun card. Only good things happen to me. I always get what I want. Only good things happen to me. I always get what I want. Clarify this justice sun card. I feel like there's going to be a huge shift in the energy here. All these major arcana. You got justice, the sun, temperance, magician. You got temperance out here twice. Okay. Yeah. High priestess. Um, I just heard you got to get on your Zoom. You got to get on your affirmations. You got to get on your affirming, your visualizing, your scripting for what it is that you want to see show up. Okay. And stop focusing on what's going on in the 3D. That's old. That's just old manifestation of what you've been thinking. Okay. You got to get on bottom of the deck, queen of swords. You got to get on your Zoom. Okay. Strength. You got to be strong. You got to stick to the new story in the face of what's going on. Leo energy. Give me one more. Okay. Mm. This is two of swords. More Libra energy. I also feel like that two of swords. What's this two of swords? Yeah. See, things haven't ended and the new cycle hasn't began yet. This death card coming out sideways, Scorpio energy. The, the old cycle hasn't ended yet and you're not seeing what it is that you really want because first of all, you need to focus or get clear. That's what this rest and reconsider is. Take a breath, take a moment, look at the situation. Get, get clear on what you want to see happen, okay? And then put your focus there, okay? You haven't seen the cycle close, even though it will. You haven't seen it close yet because you haven't made a decision and stood on it. So let's go back to the job example. You may want a new job, but you're still reacting to everything that happens on the old job. Technically, you're not there anymore. You're on the new job. Okay. If, if that makes sense, because we're manifesting that. So if I'm saying that I love my new job, it's perfect for me. I shouldn't be reacting to what's going on on the old job in the 3D because it's old. That's an old manifestation of the thoughts that I dominantly had about this job. Okay. Same thing with a relationship. If I'm manifesting that I'm out of this, I'm out of this situation. I'm, I'm not dealing with this person anymore. Then why am, why are you reacting to what goes on with this person to the, why are you arguing and fussing and fighting? This person is trying to um, provoke you. Why are you falling for that? That's old 3D stuff. You should be focused on the fact that you're no longer in this. So that means that you don't give this any attention. Okay. If that makes sense. So Gemini, I hope this reading is helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video is, is out for all your coffee needs. Visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak. Oh, one more thing, y'all. Thursday. What's today? Wednesday? Thursday. I'm going to take my cards with me, but I'm going to Vegas for Thanksgiving. So I will be there Thursday, Friday. Friday, I go see Usher. Saturday, and I come back on Sunday. So I'll try to get readings in between Thursday and Saturday. Okay? So I'll speak to you soon. Bye.